Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful autumn day. Ah, beautiful. Crispy out here this morning, though. A little crispy. Today, video, we're going to talk about how to keep your nose clean. Be right back with you. So welcome back to everybody. And before we get on with um, the discussion today, um, subscribe to my channel. And those of you who have subscribed, I want to thank you and appreciate all of your, your support. Those of you who are sitting in the background just watching, please subscribe and share with your friends and enemies. Give me a thumbs up. And I look forward to hearing your comment down below, reading your comment and replying to you, which I do. I reply to everybody who leaves me a comment. Even those who leave me nasty comments, which happens sometimes. But anyway, you get a response. <laughs> anyway, I remember growing up <clears throat> in Louisiana. And I spent a lot of time with your grandparents, as one does, uh, growing up. And my grandfather um, had his everyday carry, a few things he always had with him in his coveralls, or his overalls, I would say. He always had uh, his wallet with him. And he carried it um, in his back pocket. He always had uh, his keys for the truck, he had an old pickup truck, and for the house, which I don't think the house was ever locked. He um, always carried with him his Prince Albert tin of tobacco and his rolling paper because he smoked. And, of course, he carried some matches with him. And uh, he always carried his old Henry pocket knife, which was always in his pocket. And something else he always carried with him was one of these. Okay, what is this? This is a handkerchief. And it's something that is part of my EDC, although in videos I've made, I've never put an edit to it. Um, these are something that he always carried with him, and they served a multi-tool a multitude of tools uh, just besides clean your nose especially my little nose when i was running or something like that or i need to blow he pulled out a handkerchief and um, from his pocket and uh, from his back right pocket he always had it on him or if he had it inside of maybe a smaller pocket he had his handkerchief and it was always ironed it was always washed and ironed he carried a brand new with him every day sometimes he carried two um, because he had he wore some glasses for reading and stuff he was a carpenter but he always had his handkerchief, and they, they come in handy. Now, this handkerchief right here, this is something that I've had for a while because I always carry a handkerchief on myself. And the reason why is because I don't like carrying something like this right here in my pocket, okay? I had to go, I actually had to, I have these at home. I have a packet of them. I have, uh, because if someone needs them when they visit, I give them one of these right here. I don't give them out a handkerchief necessarily, unless it maybe was a very attractive lady and she needs a handkerchief, then I'll give her one. But in general, no one's using handkerchiefs. Most women already have handkerchiefs. They have something like this right here in their, in their, in their purse. But men don't necessarily carry things with them. And um, if they do, it's like something that's been rolled up, stuffed in their pocket, a piece of paper, okay? It's not very good for the uh, for ecologically, environmentally, to have all this paper like this right here. And these things, man, they're just, you know, they cost money. They cost money. I don't know how much this right here would cost. I would say probably about a buck. This right here did even cost, a, you know, it cost a couple of bucks, you know, and I can just wash it and reuse it. You can hand wash them. You can wash them with your clothes. And I take them out, and I do as my grandmother did, and I iron them, okay? I iron them because I, I like to have them as flat as possible, you know, and I carry it inside my back pocket or I carry it inside my inner jacket pocket. Depends, you know, where I carry it. And I use it all the time because I wear glasses. I'm always having to clean my glasses. Uh, if my nose is runny or something like that, I need to clean it. I got this right here that I can quickly clean it or anything else, you know. So, um, and if I remember my grandfather being, you know, he working, working and getting hot, he would wash it in some water. He would wring it out and he would wash his head with it, you know, so... Uh, all these things happen. So a handkerchief is one of these things that, that I suggest you go out and pick up. Now, you can get them pretty inexpensive probably, you know, uh, and uh, um, and just carry something very normal. Because I have a few of them here with me. I have this one right here. Well, 
they're just a little bit different in colors. I have some blue ones also, but these are three of them that I have with me because these are three I just washed and um, ironed them, and then I will be washing some more today, okay? Well, what do you know? If there's an entrepreneurial spirit in me that decided, you know what, why don't, why don't I just make some handkerchiefs, you know, and see if people be interested? So I did. <laughs> I made a handkerchief. Um, these are here, and I'll have, I have other colors that'll be coming out also. I looked into it really seriously and found out that they're made of really, really good quality. Well, they're not all made of good quality, 100% cotton material. Some of them quite loosely. These are here are quite super thin. But and you have to wash them first before you use them. If not, there's a there's a product on the cotton when they use the fabrications kind of like that in the in the in the in the, in the uh, process that you need to wash off. You know, so it's better to wash anything that you're going to put against your skin before you use it. So, so I came up with this right here. This is this is the, the stars from, and I, I tend to think of it as the American stars. It's a typical. It's a one foot by one foot square. Okay, it's been hemmed. All the sides been rolled and hemmed, and of course has my logo on the inside of it. And I'm selling these. I'm selling these for nine franc 90 on my website. It's about 10 bucks, okay, for one. And um, I, like I said, these I here are for sale on my website. I'll have some other, more other colors coming out because I'm finding, if I find some really nice material to, to make them with, I'll produce them in that material. Nothing fancy. I mean, you don't have to buy them, but I mean, if you're interested in uh, one crafted by myself, then there you go. And uh, um, I'd appreciate it. But anyway, so this is a handkerchief made by Mike Box, myself, and found on helvetiabushcraft.ch and support the channel. I appreciate it. Listen, I hope you all have a pleasant day and I look forward to seeing you again soon. And uh, start using a handkerchief if you don't and add it to your everyday carry. You'd be surprised at the difference of having this on you. It's just such a masculine thing, you know. Uh, just a real quick thing. I, when I was out looking for the material, I said, well, maybe I'll pick up some handkerchiefs from a store here because these I got here, I had to, uh, you know, I've had them for a while. I don't know where I got them from, I think. It's been a while back, you know. Could have been on vacation, something like that. But finding a handkerchief here, everybody said, well, is it a, you're looking for a pocket handkerchief, you know, one that you sort of stick in your pocket like it's in your suit, you know, like it's right here? I said, no, I'm looking for a real handkerchief, and they just don't have them, so it's hard to find them in the, uh, in a lot of shops, so there you go, but anyway, I'm making them. Talk to you later. Take care of yourselves. Have a pleasant weekend. God bless you, and I'll talk to you very soon. Goodbye.